YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon, the steward of the podcast. Talking Auburn football, go ahead and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. Definitely appreciate the memberships and definitely appreciate the support. I'm sorry about the downtime that I had during the spring and the college basketball season, which I you know normally co uh, cover uh, on a high level. Um, like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. Now, Auburn is 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 citing out some of the better athletes in the country. I think if Auburn is going to take their game, is going to take their take the program to the level of competition that their fans expect and that fans deserve, you got to go after guys. You got to go after real deal guys, and you have to take some chances. Brian Harson has talked about for the next few weeks. They're going to really hit hard the Alabama market. That's something that I'm not going to say that Gus Malzahn didn't do this because that's not a fair thing to say. But it is documented that this is what Auburn plans to do for the next few weeks in solidifying a solid recruiting class. Also, we will all, we, we will see if Auburn will continue the Big Cat weekend where different athletes come to town and see what Auburn is all about. Because for many years, I mean, Auburn doesn't have the name recognition that we would think. You got Alabama, you got Georgia, you got Louisiana State University, you have Texas A&M. Auburn is just, I mean, just by proximity, doesn't have the name recognition and shares the same state with the Nick Saban version of Alabama. Now, what Auburn does have in their favor is the unique ability, proximity-wise, to take advantage of these little country towns that are close to Georgia. They, they tear that Highway 85 area up. And Auburn has also had some luck in the Gwinnett County area. Some of the best athletes in the country come from that area, including a said... Derek Brown. Also, Auburn has had some luck in Florida as well over the years. Now, the reason for this video is I had the unique opportunity. I don't know how this happened. I mean, it just worked out. The unique opportunity. I didn't interview him. There's nothing compelling about what he said to me that, you know, said where he was going or where he was not going. But I had the unique opportunity to meet Samuel Mpemba. He came in, he had an IMG shirt on, and I was like, oh man, this, this is, you know, looking at his size and all these other things, I was like, man, this is, this looks like a guy that's trying to do something. And where we were, it actually made sense. Because that particular college's G Day game, I mean, game, um, spring game was the same day. So he comes in, I talked to him, and it reminded me of my encounter with Kobe Wooten. When he came in, he looked like a basketball player. He's like 6'4, 215 pounds, maybe, maybe soaking wet with rocks in his shoes, he might've been about 2.30. He was, you know, enjoying his, his situation at the time. I talked to him, it wasn't an interview. Um, I talked to him, I was like, hey man, what, what you know, you're in town for, you know, a, a visit. I don't know if it was an unofficial visit or not. And I asked him, I was like, so what are some of your, your schools that you're looking at? Didn't know much about him. He gave me his name after that conversation. And he talked about Miami. He talked about Notre Dame. He talked about Georgia. He talked about Alabama. As it turns out, Auburn is on the list of teams that have offered, of course. He has a star-studded list of offers that have come across his desk. And if you look at all the lists, he's cool on everybody. You can tell he has a lot of value in his prospect 
to where he's not ready to make a decision yet. He said the decision is coming soon, but we don't know. This, now, the thing about this athlete, as I started to look him up, okay, 6'4", 213 pounds, he's played wide receiver, he's played tight end. Many of the problem, as a matter of fact, I asked him because I didn't know based on his size what position he played. I thought maybe an edge rusher being 6'4 in high school, 215, he was 220 pounds at best. 230, that's just fabricating this thing in my opinion. So I assume that he was going to be an edge rusher, kind of like Miles Garrett at Texas A&M, which is still a possibility. But this young man told me that he was about to be a 6'4 outside linebacker. When I looked at some of his stats, I looked at some of his highlights. This man played um, H-back. He also played wide receiver. That means he has great feet. That means he has a lot of instinctual things of the game that he knows what a wide receiver. Because, see, in order to tackle something, like, say, for instance, a running back playing linebacker would be great because you know the instincts of a linebacker. As an outside linebacker, you're going to be asked to cover the flat. You're going to be asked to cover tight ends. So if you know that position, that's going to be a cool thing. I just thought it was a really cool experience um, to meet Samuel and Pimba. I doubt, seriously doubt, I don't think Auburn is even on his radar. Auburn extends the offer, but guess what? You never know. You never, ever know. Go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to your channel, my channel, Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.